Um, the one thing I wanted to do in this video is to go over our virtual course syllabus. Um, I posted this in the Google Classroom for everyone, but I know you guys love to read, so I thought I would just go over this with you um, briefly if you haven't looked at it yet. Okay, the structure of our class now that I have it kind of solidified how I go about our class, um, kind of this is how it's going to go. First thing is lessons, okay? So each day of the school week, you're going to get a new lesson, okay? So within that lesson post, you're going to get a video presentation from me, and then also possibly additional readings or videos that you need to complete, and then there's also going to be a daily assignment, all right? So this time it could range from five to 15 questions. It just depends on what the lesson of the day is. However, each daily assignment is going to be worth 10 points. Um, the videos are going to be super long, the video lessons, okay? They, they're going to range in length from 7 to 15 minutes. And really, it should take more than 30 50 minutes, like the max. And if you're maybe a little bit slower at completing the assignment, you should take your time. That's fine. Um, the reason for that, I wanted to take a full hour for your lessons because you still have to do already. I'll get to that in a minute. Um, now, it's my recommendation that you take notes. You can take notes on just leaf paper in your binder, or you can get yourself a composition or a notebook or spiral notebook for that. And I will share some videos in the Google Classroom on some note-taking strategies. Um, for you if you need that, okay? So these are kind of important notices. All the classwork for the upcoming week, we posted up to a week in advance. What that means is it could be a little bit posted in advance. Um, I'll post it most likely in advance. But all the classwork for that week is due on Friday at 11.59 p.m., okay? Do not procrastinate. If you're not someone who wants to work ahead, Okay, and just make sure you do one lesson a day of the school week. Otherwise, you're going to get yourself behind and you're not going to get everything done by Friday at 11.59 p.m. Okay, um, quizzes. So after every two to three lessons, I'm going to give you a quiz. All right, this is going to be a Google form quiz. It's going to be graded um, just to kind of see if you're understanding the new content that's being delivered to you. It's important. Important notice, do not attempt the quiz until you've completed and submit the assignments that are being done on that quiz. Okay? I've already seen because I posted the first week's assignments. I've seen people who have completed the quiz but haven't turned in their assignments. That's not good. That's not okay. You need to do the assignments, then you can attempt quiz. And moving forward, the first week of the slide, but forward, you're going to get a zero on the missing assignments if you take the quiz and do those. Okay, because that means you just didn't turn it in. And quizzes are going to be worth 20 points. All right. So there'll be probably about one to two a week. I ready. I ready is going to continue to be a part of your weekly grade. So on Friday of each week, I'm going to check I ready. Make sure you did your 45 minutes of active reading. Okay. And I'll be checking on the assignment you've completed to make sure that, that you're you know, progressing and I rate is still worth 10 points a week. Attendance. I know you're thinking about attendance, right? Even though we're distance learning, teachers are still required to keep attendance during this time. Um, and so in order to do that, you guys are going to be asked a question each day of the school week. So you have to, have to, have to go into Google Classroom between 8 a.m. and 6 p.m. and make sure you answer the question. Okay? The question is simply for attendance purposes. Okay? It's not going to be graded. If you don't do it, you're going to be marked absent. You have to do it. Okay? Even if you don't do it, amazing. But I recommend you do it. Okay? So that's pretty much the structure of a class. When it comes to communications, all right, if you want to communicate with me, for any reason, okay, you can always, always email me. Um, you can also comment on in the Google Classroom on the material that you have a question about. 
Also, I'll, I'm going to be holding what we call office hours from 1 to 2.30 each day of the school week. So what that means is between 1 and 2.30 p.m. every single day that you're in school, I will be holding a virtual kind of classroom. And everyone has an invitation that's already on Google Classroom. If you go to the information center, and actually let me pull that up really quickly so you can see if it will let me. Sorry, guys. One second. So in Google Classroom, if you go to your classwork tab, so I'll just open up one of our classes here. We'll go to open up period three. If you go to classwork and instructional videos or info, this first link office hours, okay? You would just click on that video chat between 1 and 30 and it'll bring you into the meeting room, okay? If you don't have a cam or a camera, you can also use just use a phone. Anyone's phone, dial this number, oops, um, dial that phone number and enter the pin and you can also join that way, okay? Uh, and you can ask any questions about the lessons, the class, any questions or concerns you have about grades. Also, if you, you need to schedule like a one-on-one -on -one face, -to face we can do that as well. You just have to email me and ask, okay? And I'll let you know when I'm available, which... All of us are pretty available, right? Because we're in quarantine. Um, communicating with each other, okay? It is very, very important that everyone's respectful, okay? You guys know what respect means, right? It means the student will treat each member of our virtual class with respect. You're not going to use profanity. You're not going to post inappropriate comments. You're not going to post any comments that put classmates down or are intended to make them feel bad about themselves. That is what we call cyberbullying, okay? We're not doing that. And if I see these comments, your ability to communicate with anyone is going to be removed. I'm not going to let you continue to communicate in the classroom, right? So you have to show me that you're a productive member of our class and be respectful of everyone in our classroom, okay? If you have any questions, again, email me. If you want to speak to me face-to-face, -face, email me. Ask me to schedule a Google Meet, okay? I am the only one who can do that. You students, you do not have that access. You can only join a Google Meet that's been created by a teacher. You cannot create one yourself. Okay, so that's important too. And that's it for this video. I look forward to talking to you all as soon as classes start. I do miss you guys for the most part. <laughs> um, I'll talk